Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. So in the last video, we created this. So we have we still have Apple here. So we can add the votes again, delete the post, and let's create a new one. This time, I'm thinking, why not make one for Angular JS itself? So yeah, we can just continue to make another post. Oops, not KS. That'd be oh not the org. So I mean it's pretty simple. We got votes that update and we can delete the post and it's now gone. So I'm thinking about we gotta spice up the CSS a bit. So what I'm thinking we should do is just make it a bit more attractive and a bit better. So luckily I have some bootstrap memorization, not memorization, that sounds weird, but just some, I know some things about bootstrap. So we can do class form dash group, and then we can cut this out. And then instead of a Instead of this placeholder, what we can then do, delete all this, and then we can do a label, a label, this label will have the class of control dash label, and then it's gonna basically have a if we, I'm just thinking it'd look really cool if we had a focused input. So we can do for focused input. So in this focused input, then inside this label, we can just do post name. And simple as that, now should look a bit better. All right, I totally forgot that we also have to add the class in this for form dash controller and sorry not form dash controller form dash control and whoa it's pretty big so what I'm thinking what we gotta do is probably add some custom styling so I'm gonna go into our index.html just do a style on the body and make it margin or no, let's change it to width 80% and then margin zero auto. So that should align everything in the center and bam, that looks a ton better. So now what we did is we can do the exact same thing for the other ones. I'm gonna stop the video right here and I'll catch you guys right as I finish that. Alrighty guys, so I'm back, I hope you had fun in that break while you guys just finished doing that. So, um, back in here. Now, when we reload it, boom. Doesn't that just look beautiful? And, of course, it still works great. And, yo, whoa. That spelling skill right there. And you can see, just like that, Boom, perfect. And we can still do all the same functions that we were able to do before. All right, so looks pretty good if you ask me. Um, oh, you can even make blank ones. All right, so let's fix that. All right, so how we can fix this is pretty simple. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just create a giant if statement that's gonna encounter every or encounter, I don't think that's the right word, but hold everything that is in our save posts. It's pretty much basically post.name and post.description and post.url. So then we can put that bracket there and then put another bracket here, beautify it and perfect. So basically what's gonna happen is if there's post a post name, a post description, and a post URL, then it'll go through this. 
And then we can just do a simple else message. We can do something like alert. And then be like, sorry, sorry, bro. You need, uh, you need all of those things, all of those inputs to be filled. Cool. So now we can test it. Now if you try to save the post, nothing happens. And still nothing. And it just tells us that. Same thing. And finally, if you had that, boom, perfect. And it resets all of them. So that's about it for this series. I'm, think, I'm thinking we could maybe try to tackle authentication. That's going to be a bit more difficult depending on what type of authentication we want to use. Whether it be Twitter, Facebook, Google+, I mean even like GitHub for example.